Hello and welcome to the Winterpaw community. This is going to be a tutorial on how to upload your Winterpaw Mask Canine to VRChat for both Quest and PC. I'll have a separate tutorial on how to upload the fallback avatar, so I'll put that in the description below. Before we get started though, you are going to need to download a few things. The first thing is Creator Companion, and again I'll put all of these links in the description below. So you can get Creator Companion on the VRChat website once you log in, and you can download it right here. Next up, you'll need the free version of the Poyami Tune Trader. Make sure you download the Uni package here. Then you'll need VRC Fury, the K9 avatar located in your Gumroad library, and you can get this top one here. This materials uh, Uni package is optional, and it includes the Fox, Border Collie, Additional Eye, and Hair textures. Next up is the clothing pack. If you purchased it, you can download the VRChat files. And lastly, if you purchased anything else on my Gumroad, you can go ahead and download that now as well. There's also a section on my Discord that has a list of community-made assets that work with this avatar if you'd like to check that out. Once you have everything downloaded, you can go ahead and install Creator Companion, and then open it up and it should prompt you to install the correct version of Unity for VRChat. Once that's done, select Create New Project. Then select Avatar Project, and you can go ahead and name your project. This is where your project will be saved, so make sure to select a good location and then hit Create Project. You're going to want to make sure these are both up to date. And then once those are up to date, select Open Project. So some of the things in this tutorial might take a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and speed through these parts of the tutorial. Once Unity opens up, we can go ahead and start importing some of those packages that we downloaded earlier. I'm going to start by importing VRC Fury. Next, we can install the Poemi Tune Shader. And now the K9 Unity package. Next, I'm going to import the Mass K9 Extra Materials Unity package, and again, this is optional. Um, so, if you just want those extra eye colors, hair colors, or the other um, collie or fox textures, then you should go ahead and import this. But if you're using your own custom textures, then this is not necessary. And lastly, I'm going to import the clothing. Okay, the most tedious part of this tutorial is done. Now we're going to be customizing your avatar and getting it uploaded to VRChat. So, open up the Masculine K9 folder here. And then we're going to open up the PC scene. So if you just want to upload it for Quest, go ahead and skip to the Quest part of the tutorial. So double click on that, and then it should look something like this. If you purchase the clothes, you can go back to the Assets folder and find where you imported your clothes. So I'm going to start off with the shirt, open up that folder, and then find the shirt prefab and drag it onto the avatar in the hierarchy. This is using VRC Fury, so it will create toggles for you in game. So uh, that means that if you want to add overlapping clothing, so you can have the shirt and the sweatshirt on, it's not a problem because they will both be toggled off by default and you can toggle on which one you would like in game. So we're going to do the same thing for the shorts, drag it on into the hierarchy, and the same thing for the sweatpants. Next up, we're going to swap out our textures. If you like this default look here, you can go ahead and skip this part, but if you want to use one of the pre-made texture variations or you have your own custom textures, you can follow along now. I'm going to start off by hiding these clothes so you can see what I'm doing, and then I'll unhide these two parts of the body. So select in the hierarchy and hit this checkbox. I'll start off by showing the pre-made materials. So if you imported the materials Unity package, you can open up that folder now. And to swap out a material, all you need to do is drag it on. So I'll start off with the eyes. And you can see there are tons of different eye variations, so you can go ahead and check them out here. Same process for the hair. This hair here is the mohawk hair, 
and this one is the main. So just remember to put on the correct material. So uh, here it says main, so you drag this one onto the main, and then here is the mohawk, so you can drag this one onto the mohawk. Same process for the body. Go ahead, drag it on. There's just one material that is a little bit tricky because it's hidden inside the body with a blend shape. So to change that, select the body in the hierarchy and we're going to change out the props. So that includes the collar, the glasses, and the neck floof. So open up your props folder, select the body, and you'll see M underscore props. So you can drag any of these materials on to the M underscore props material and it will switch it out. I'm going to revert this back to the default look though for changing your custom textures. Now we're going to apply our custom textures. Open up the masculine K9 folder, open the materials folder, and let's start off with the eyes. So open that up and now we're going to drag in our eye material. Select it, select streaming mitt maps, Everything in Unity will automatically import to 2K, but I'm gonna swap this one to 512. And this is personal preference, but I'm switching this to high quality and then hit apply. Now select your material, select unlock shader, and drag in your custom texture into this slot here. Lock that in and you should see your new texture applied to the eyes. If for any reason you don't see it applied to the eyes, just drag the texture right on, drag the material right onto the eyes and you should see it. Let's go back into our material folder and we'll do the body next. So you can choose between the body or the buff body. I'm going to just choose the regular one. And there are two different fur options. You have your realistic fur, which looks like this, or you have your more stylized soft fur. I'm going to do this one here. So drag in your texture. And this one I'm going to do at 4K. Select whichever material you would like. So I'm gonna do the soft fur. Hit unlock shader. Drag in your texture and then lock that back in. If you did any of the other textures outside of this one, you're going to need to drag it on to your avatar. So drag it right onto the body and then you should see it. The body also has a props material on it, which includes the collar, neck floof, and glasses. So we're going to swap that out by going to our materials, props, drag in your props material, or your props texture, I mean. Do the same thing here, but this time I'm gonna do 1K. So there are also two options for this one, the realistic fur option and the stylized one. So I'm gonna do the stylized, so select it, unlock it, apply it to the texture and lock that back in. Then select the body and find where it says M underscore props. Select it and make sure that the material that you just swapped is the material that lights up here. If it's not, Take that material and drag it onto the uh, M underscore props. The rest of the process is the same for the hair and the tails, so I'm going to speed through those parts of the video. Oh, also one quick note. This here is the mohawk and this is the mane. So make sure that you're applying the material uh, to the correct hair. This floofy tail here is tail two, and this one is tail one, so same for the hair, make sure you're applying it to the correct one. The process is the same for swapping out the textures for the clothes. I've also got a bunch of pre-made ones, just like I do for the body. So say you wanna do a sweatshirt, open up the sweatshirt folder and you can see a 
bunch of options here. I also have some audio link versions. So these will light up in worlds that have audio link. So those are in the audio link folder and you can see them here. So the next thing we're going to change is the look of our avatar using blend shape. So I'm going to turn this sweatshirt back off. If you like the way that it looks now, you can go ahead and skip this part. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to switch it up a bit. So select the part in the hierarchy that you want to change. I'm going to start off with the body, find the blend shapes drop down, and then you can kind of ignore these first few sections because these are all things that are used in VR chat. Scroll down until you see the browse section, and this is where you can start editing. There's also a section called um, don't edit. These are all things that you can change in VR chat. So if you make changes here, you won't see them in VR chat unless you change them on the menus in VR chat. So don't edit any of these here if you're uploading for VR chat. So I'm going to uh, change the look of my avatar and I'll speed up this section, but feel free to check out all of these different options because there's lots of fun things you can change. Once you're done editing the body, you can also go ahead and check out some of the different hair blend shapes. So uh, find the blend shape drop down. And this is the same thing. Um, these are all editable in game, so don't change these. But you can check out these different options here. You can do the same thing for the main hair by selecting it here to unhide it. And then same thing for the tail. This tail here doesn't have a ton of blend shapes, but this one does. This next step is also optional and is for optimization using one of the built-in features with VRC Fury. So basically what it does is it removes all of the unused blend shapes. So you can see this avatar has a lot of blend shapes. It removes them on upload and it will significantly help with your VRAM usage and everyone around you will definitely appreciate it if you do this step. So to do it, select the avatar in the hierarchy, scroll all the way down to the bottom and select add component. Then type in VRC Fury. And then select this plus button here and select blend shape optimizer. If you would like to also keep the MMD blend shapes, you can select the plus button again and select MMD compatibility. When you upload an avatar to VRChat, it has a thumbnail image. If you don't have a 2D image for that, you can take a picture of your avatar in Unity for your thumbnail. I've set up this photo booth here for that purpose. So you can find the photo booth section in the hierarchy, drop that down. And this here is pose one, this is pose two. So you can select whichever pose you would like. I'm gonna use pose one. And if there are parts of the avatar that you don't want in your picture, you can hide those. So say you don't want the main, you can select the I button and hide it. You can also apply the same blend shapes to this avatar as you did to your avatar uh, over here that you're going to upload to VRChat so you can get them looking the same. I also mentioned that do not, sec do not edit section on the blend shapes. So you can see here, you can actually edit this section for these avatars here because this avatar is not going to be uploaded to VRChat. Now it's time to upload your avatar to VRChat. To do this, head over to the VRChat SDK, hit show control panel, and log into your VRChat account. Then go to the builder, and this is where you can select your thumbnail image. So you can either select a new thumbnail, which is your 2D image that you might have, or you can capture it from the scene. So we're going to go over to our avatar here and find a good position. And once you're happy with it, select Capture. Now, give your avatar a name. And select this box here. And then hit Build and Publish. Once this is done uploading, you're done with your PC upload. Now that you've uploaded your PC version, it's time to upload the Quest version. But first, we're going to save our scene. So to do this, go to File and then hit save. 
Now we're going to go over to the masculine canine folder, find the quest folder, and then drag the canine.quest scene into the hierarchy. So we're going to hide the PC avatar so we can see the quest one. And if you uploaded your PC version, you probably still have this open, but if you don't, you can find it in the VR chat SDK and then hit show control panel. We're going to go over to the builder and then switch our platform to Android. Once it's finally done switching build targets, you can head over to the content manager if you're planning on uploading it cross-platform. So what uploading it cross-platform means is that PC version, PC people will be able to see your PC version and Quest people will be able to see your Quest version. So find the avatar that you just uploaded, hit copy ID. And then you can zoom out to see all of the different Quest options. So because of the Quest limitations, I had to divide up the hair and tails into four different avatars. So find the version that you would like. I'm gonna use this one here and then find it over here in the hierarchy. This is gonna be masculine canine mohawk and tail two. Then find your blueprint ID and paste in the ID that you just copied and then hit attach. Next up, I'm gonna show how to swap out the textures for either the pre-made textures or your own custom textures. If you're okay with this default look though, you can go ahead and skip this part. I'm gonna show first how to use the pre-made textures. So you can open up this materials folder if you imported it. And the one difference between this avatar and the PC avatar is that the eyes are now combined with the body texture. So you can ignore this eyes uh, folder right here. Open up the body, find the quest folder, and all you'll need to do is drag the material onto the part that you're changing. So we're doing the body, so drag it onto the body. The trickiest texture change is the prop material, and that's going to include the neck floof, the glasses, and the collar. To change this material, go back to your materials folder, find the props, and then select the body of the avatar. So we have this avatar here, select the body, and you'll see a material section, and one of the materials should say M underscore props. Choose which prop material you would like, and drag it on to the props material. You can see now that it has changed. Uh, I'm going to revert this back to the default textures for changing your custom textures. Now we're going to apply our custom textures to this avatar. To do this, we're gonna go back into our masculine canine folder, quest, materials, and let's start off with the body first. So choose either body or buff body. And like I said before, the eyes are combined with the body now. So if you're using your PC texture and you export it out out of Photoshop, it won't work for this one. So I'm gonna link a super quick tutorial up here on how to add the eyes onto your PC texture. Once you've done that, drag in your texture here, select the texture, select streaming mipmaps, and I'm going to leave this at 2K because anything higher than this will be automatically decreased on Quest. Then I'm gonna select high quality here, but this is just personal preference and then hit apply. So there are two different fur style options. You can do either the realistic fur, which has this kind of shading here, or you can do the more stylized version. Select which one you would like, then drag on your texture and you should see it here. If you don't, just make sure to drag it onto your body and then you should see it. Now we're gonna go ahead and change the rest of the pieces of this avatar. Not all avatars have the same hairstyle depending on which one you chose or the same tail. So we're only going to change the mohawk, the props, and tail two in this case. But again, this will vary by avatar. So same process for the mohawk. Drag in your texture. and I'm gonna reduce this one to 512. For the tail, you have both the realistic option and also the stylized one. I'm gonna go for the stylized one, so I'll drag it onto the avatar. And now the last thing we're going to change is the props material.
So you can't see the props material because it's the collar, glasses, and neck floof, but to make sure that you change the right one, select the body in the hierarchy, and then you'll see M underscore props. Select that, and if the material that you changed lights up, you've changed the correct one. If not, find the material that you changed and drag it onto M underscore props, and now you should have the correct one. If you'd like to add the clothes to the avatar, you're more than welcome to. The clothes aren't reduced for quest compatibility, but you can still add them to this avatar. You can add them the same way that you add clothes to the PC version, so you can go back to that part of the tutorial if you're going to add them. If not though, we can go ahead and change the blend shapes for this avatar. So this is also optional. But to do this, select the body in the hierarchy, find the blend shapes drop down, and then scroll past all of these. These are all used in VR chat. And once you find the browse is where you can start editing. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see a section that says do not turn on. These are things that use toggles in VR chat. So don't turn any of these on because you can edit them in game. So I'm going to go ahead and change the blend shapes to look like my PC avatar. There are also some options for the hair and tail as well, which can be found at the very bottom. The last step we're going to do before uploading is something that we did to the PC avatar for optimization. And this is using VRC Fury. What it's going to do is remove all of the unused blend shapes during the uploading process, and this will help with VRAM usage. So how we're going to do this is we're going to select the avatar in the hierarchy, select add component, type in VRC Fury, and then hit this plus sign here. Then select blend shape optimizer. If you would like to keep the blend shapes for the MMD worlds, select the plus sign again, and then hit MMD compatibility. So like I mentioned before, during the PC upload, when you upload an avatar to VRChat, you get a thumbnail for that avatar. So if you don't have an image already that you would like to use, you can scroll out and use the photo booth avatars. These avatars are in a pose and you can edit their blend shapes, apply the materials, uh, and make them look like the avatar that you're going to upload to VRChat. I've already done it though for my PC version, but if you would like to do that, you can go ahead and do that now. Also, if you would like to add face tracking to your avatar, for Quest, now is the time to go over to my face tracking tutorial that I will link up above and also in the description below. Now we're ready to upload our avatar to VRChat. If you have your PC avatar in the scene, make sure you select it and uncheck it here. Then we're going to go back over to our control panel, and I've already got mine open. If you want to upload an image for a thumbnail, select new thumbnail here. You don't need to do this though if you upload a PC version of this avatar. If you would like to use the photo booth, hit capture from scene. Give your avatar a name and make sure the avatar that you're uploading is the avatar that you edited. So I have the masculine canine mohawk tail 2 right here. So that's what it says right here. So we're all good on that front. And then select this checkbox. Hit auto fix if you have any issues here. And then hit build and publish. Here's our avatar uploaded to VR chat with our custom textures, blend shapes, and if you added them, the clothing should be there too. You can open up the menu here, find the clothing tab, and toggle on the clothing pieces that you would like. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me through email or you can message me on Discord. I've also got an awesome Winterpaw community if you would like to join. There's a whole section for community-made assets that you can add to your avatar. We also do meetups and there's a whole section for additional support if you'd like. Thank you so much for watching.